YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make um, this wrap dress on the thumbnail. It's actually a casual wrap wrap dress. So we are just going to. I'm going to show you how to achieve this with your slash and spread. So right now, what I have here, I'll be explaining explaining it. Because um, what I'm making here is a wrap dress and it's asymmetric. So I have my full body pattern. So here is my shoulder pattern. This is my chest and this is my waist. This is my hip and the full length of this gown. So I've already created the upper piece and I believe you know what happens there. This is my boss pan. From here to here is my boss pan. So I've already uh, erected my dart legs. But I'm working, doing this dart legs. So my boss circumference divided by two, by four. This is it. I'll transfer it exactly to my waistline. Okay. So we are not using the waist circumference. We are using the bust circumference for both the waist and the chest and the bust. So I'll just connect it. So I'll repeat the same thing. My waist uh, bust circumference divided by 4. I'll also transfer it back here. So once that is transferred, I'll go ahead this way. So next is the hip. So I'm going to impute my hip. My hip measurement divided by 4, I'll add 1 inch ease to it. My hip measurement divided by 4, I'll add 1 inch ease to it. So I'll just go ahead and connect. So make sure you add your 1 inch of an ease, okay? Because the dress we are making here is actually free. So I'll just bring it down. I'm bringing down what I have here on a straight course. I'll also bring down what I have here on a straight course. So it's time for us to start alterating both the neckline and everything. So coming to the neckline here, I'll just come out by um, three quarter of an inch. That is 0 0.75 and I'm going to connect the 0 0.75 to the uh, other that leg. So the whole of what I have here, I'm going to slash and spread. So my slash and spread lines, I'm going to uh, mark out my slash lines. So my slash lines, I'm going to start marking them from my center front. And spreading from here to here. Okay, so I have five inches. So I can do one, one inch, you know, slash lines. So I'll just take my slash lines this way, that way, that way. So here I have one, two, three, four lines to slash. So that is that for the uh, upper part. Then for the down part, I'm going to come from this that leg two inches away or one and a half. Okay, you can do two inches because I'm working on a small scale. So I'll just place my pattern ruler because that part is actually curvy. So I'll just curve it into. So this is actually what I want. So we are making use of only this part. Okay. One, two. That is what we are making use of. And we are cutting two times of each of them. Two times. And we are going to turn it and overlap them. So now I'll go into my waistline. So before I go into my waistline, this is a kimono, um, is a kimono dress. So you know how to go about your kimono, cut together, sleep. So I'll just have my cut together right here. So you can extend the sleeve as much as you have. Then I'll come up by two inches and then I'm going to create that kimono. So the two inches I come up is to create my kimono. So I'll just create it here. From that two inches, I'm going to make the kimono curve. 
So later you can complete the kimono dress, but this is how to go about it. So I'll cut into the kimono sleeve. Then I will come in here and cut the wrap. So this is what we need and this is what we need for this. Make sure you add your ease to the waistline so it's free for you. So this is what we have now. And I'm going to slash and spread what I have on my pattern. So I, like I said, we are cutting two um, pieces of this, both right and left. So before we cut, I'm going to slash and spread first. So you can see where I'm cutting my slash. Please don't cut it off completely. So I'll set this one aside so we can work on the slash lines. So I just go ahead and place my I'll place my pattern so where we are uh, slashing is the lower piece of it so I'll place my first pattern so when you are slashing ensure you have this line okay this line has to be on this on a straight line so I'll just go ahead and do this So this is it, it has to be on a straight line, so the slash lines, I'm going to open up my slash lines, so I can do one one inch is okay for this particular dress, so So I did interval of one one inch. So by the time I pleat, I'm going to pleat either in the opposite direction or whichever direction of your choice. So if you want more pleats, you can do two two inches at interval. Okay. That's if you need more pleats, you can go ahead and do spacing of two two inches so you can be able to pleat the way you want so i'm just working on a small scale and that is why i use one inch so you can do two two inches two two inches spacing so by the time you pleat either you are pleating to the facing this direction or you are pleating facing the other direction. So wherever you are, you are facing your pleats. Me, I'm facing mine on the direction of this side. Right, so, so I'll just cut off the excess. So once I cut off the excess, this is what you expected to have if you have a pleat, okay? You'll be having some V-shaped design. So I'm cutting two times of this right now. So I'll be cutting it on, on paper. So I'll just come this way. I'll place this
So if this is your fabric, I'm just using this pepper on my as my fabric. But if you are cutting on fabric, you wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. You just place this, double your fabric and place directly. Then add your seam allowances. So for demonstration purpose, that's why I'm cutting this. So I've cut that and I'm going to cut this. people so make sure you note the part that is up and down so this is up for me this is up so I'll just come ahead come now and I'll be having this going in this way okay so when I'll be sewing this I'll have this this way by the time I've pleated everything okay so i've already pleated so that means you have to transfer your pleating mats okay so you have to transfer your pleating mats so i think i'm seeing my pleating mats so if it's your fabric you have to hold it on okay that way so this one will also be pleated this way. Can you see? Then this one will now come. This will be this way. So you actually need to sew in this with the pleats first. So once you have sewn in this with the pleats first, making it warm full. Then you can come ahead and sew this. Then this one will be placed on top of it to sew. Can you see? It gives us exactly what we have on the thumbnail. So by the time you put everything in and have this like this, can you see that? So that's how to form that dress. So thank you for coming. See you in the next class.